Hey there! I would say happy 2021, but I feel like that's a little optimistic, so I'm just gonna say welcome to 2021! I took a little vacation around the holidays and played a lot of Monster Hunter and got really inspired. My favorite weapon is the hunting horn, which means, you guessed it, I'm making the weapon stand! Don't worry, we're gonna get to actual weapons, but honestly, that video is gonna take a lot longer to edit. We're starting out making the teeth bone things that make up the back of the stand. I'm using tinfoil for a core so we don't have a really thick, heavy clay. Some people like to smush bits of clay into the tinfoil instead of rolling it and putting it on like this, and that works really well too. I'm mapping out a little bit of the sculpting, but it's just for reference at this point. It needs a little bit more bulk, but I want to make sure it looks good with the rest of the stand before I commit. Okay, on to the base. As you can see from my really good screenshot, the edges of the base aren't planks, they're like little half logs. So let's make a log and chop it in half. Checking for scale, of course. Spoiler alert, there's my first weapon. If you recognize it, call it out in the comments below. I'll link the video here when it's edited. Making some planks now. This is a super secret measuring technique called I can't find my ruler. Oh look, I found my ruler. Looking at the reference again, there are three planks, so let's get them carved out. Taking my needle tool, I'm just going in and making some grain. This is pretty much like when I did wood in foam, but it's clay this time.
posts. The hardest part about these was getting these tops to look like splintered wood. It's like they broke off a really long time ago. Honestly, I just kept messing with the clay and a couple different tools until it was kind of okay. I'll probably work on this again one day and do better next time. While one is baking, I'm drilling some holes for the posts so they can really connect. A little liquid Sculpey, and let's make the base of these posts look better. I tried to make the outside of the posts look really roughly carved, like someone did the bare minimum to get the bark off, and that was it. Posts are on! Now let's make some rope! I rolled out a snake and flattened it into a flat snake. To get the rope look, we just twist. And twist. And twist. After I made the teeth bone things, I realized my camera refused to focus on it at all, so we're missing that footage. Sorry. The important part was where I used liquid Sculpey to bake the teeth bones in place. But here's how I wrapped the ropes. Do not use this technique in real life. It will absolutely not hold.
about an hour of roping and more twisting, we're done with the sculpt. Now let's prime it. So fast, just kidding. The painting was pretty basic on this one. I'm starting with the lightest bits, which are the broken posts and the teeth bones. I'm not at all worried about the lack of coverage on this. There's going to be a lot of dry brush texture in white and some lovely grime wash. Onto the wood bits. Again, these are really textureful, like my new word, so I'm not stressing coverage. Look, dry brushing has magically appeared. I did a few passes of different light browns and a cream. Grime wash for the bones. We're done! Beauty shots time! With some spoilers for this weapon, coming soon. Thanks for watching! If you're a Monster Hunter fan, let me know your favorite weapons in the comments. I'd love to know! Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so it will let you know when the mystery weapon is uploaded. I'll see you in the next one!